Welcome back, it's Phil here from Gen Tea, and today I'm gonna to go over with you how to brew a very famous Chinese white tea called Bai Hao Yun Zhen. But before we get started, let me take a few seconds and explain a little bit about who we are and why we do what we do. Gen Tea is made up of myself, Jen, and Jian Li, Jen's mother. We are embedded in tasting grade Chinese tea in China, thanks in very large part to Jen's mom, Jian Li. This not only allows us to bring you absolutely stunning Chinese tea 10 times out of 10, but we can also bring you the latest innovations in Chinese tea, culture shifts that are happening, interviews with the who's who of Chinese tea and other great tea people, and of course, how-tos like this one. So if you like the sound of that, please consider clicking that subscribe button down below to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Now, without any further delay, let's dive into the tea. Bai Hao Yin Zhen. Here's what you will need to brew Bai Hao Yin Zhen in a gaiwan. A gaiwan, a sharing pot, a teacup, and of course Bai Hao Yin Zhen. As usual, I start with warming up the vessels before brewing. Then, let's toss the leaving till it lightly covers the bottom of the gaiwan. This is also the best time to enjoy the smell of the dry leaves. Now add in the water. I'm using boiling water for this Bai Hao Yin Zhen. As I always say, boiling water is the best friend of a great tea. But feel free to lower the water temperature as necessary if there's too much bitterness or astringency in your tea. Now the tea is ready. Let's pour it out and enjoy. Most white teas are not marathon runners, but the more aged the tea is, the more infusions it will render. The white tea I was using in this video is our top grade by Hao Injun from 2017. It gave me four solid infusions in the end, which is pretty typical for a young by Hao Injun at this water and leaf ratio, of course. Don't be alarmed by the super light liquor color. It doesn't affect this tea being rich and powerfully flavorful. It's smooth and brothy in the mouth as well. It is so interesting that the taste of a white tea is somehow very counterintuitive from the barely there liquor color. For brewing by Hao Injun in a Western teapot, we use this stylus cold brew vessel, a pseudo teapot. Feel free to use teacups if that suits your situation better. After dumping the leaves in, Let's add some boiling water and let it sit. Bai Hao Yinzhen literally means white fuzz, silver needle, which describes the look of the dry leaves of this tea. Needle refers to the shape of the tea buds, and because it's covered in the white fuzz, they look almost a silver color. When it's brewed up, the liquor will look cloudy, as you can see in the video. But don't worry, it is because of those mini fuzz and this is actually desired in Bai Hao Yin Zhen. And again, liquor color is our friend, telling us when the tea is ready. It might seem tricky to tell the color change when it comes to this kind of light colored liquor, but once you are familiar with the tea, the slight greenish yellow tinge will seem more obvious to you. Now it's time to relax and enjoy the tea. All right, folks, that's a wrap. That is how you brew Bai Hao Yin Zhen in a gaiwan and a western teapot. Thanks for sticking around all the way to the end of the video. For the first 10 of you, you can use this coupon code to save 20% on our website. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And most importantly, tell your friends. Well, at least tell the ones that love tea. Most importantly, you keep steeping.